Basim is our main protagonist in Assassin's Creed Mirage. He's a fascinating character, one that fits the mold of classic assassin, deadly and resourceful with a complex personality. For that reason, we felt that Mirage needed to be a strong narrative-driven experience. One that would honor Basim as a character, surprise our players and take them on a memorable adventure. We first met Basim during the events of AC Valhalla. Having traveled from the Middle East to England, he acted as a mentor figure for Ivor. But Basim had motives of his own and his past was shrouded in mystery. We knew early on that we wanted to explore a setting that was reminiscent of the first Assassin's Creed game. So naturally, we made the connection between the Golden Age of Baghdad and Basim. It was a great opportunity to show some of the events that came to define him as a person. Mirage is a completely fresh story. You can start the game without having played Valhalla or any of the other titles. But of course, for our most dedicated fan, there will be a lot of secrets, easter eggs and connections with past games and the overall lore of the series. Assassin's Creed Mirage is set in 861 AD, 12 years before the events of Valhalla. We meet Basim in his youth, making a living as a thief on the streets of Enbar, near Baghdad, alongside his best friend and partner in crime, Nehal. As far back as he can remember, Basim has been haunted by visions and nightmares that he's been unable to understand. He's come to question who he is and where he belongs. Much to Nehal's frustration, Basim believes his destiny lies among the hidden ones. Basim ends up at Alamut, the renowned assassin home base that at that time was still under construction. It's here that he learns the way of the assassins and becomes one of the hidden ones. Soon, he's tasked with tracking down the Order in Baghdad, kickstarting his life-changing journey. Creating the character of Basim in Mirage was an interesting challenge. Having met him as an older man in Valhalla, we had to imagine what he would have been like in his younger years. Everybody in the team is a long-time AC fan. That's why it was so important for us to bring back that Levantine assassin look to Basim's costumes. Crafting new visuals and stories around an existing character poses a unique challenge. It gives us room for nods to other entries in the series, pushes us to respect our legacy, while offering something fresh and exciting for our players. After becoming a hidden one, Basim inherits the apprentice outfit, a white robe with blue shades and a small beaked hood. We found opportunities to connect Mirage to the wider franchise, such as the red sash wrapped around Basim's arm in Valhalla. In Mirage, we learned that it was a symbol of the rebellion, a knight worn by many other side characters, and something Basim chose to keep with him years later. There are several levels of conflicts in our story, from the one in the city arising from the Zen rebellion to Basim's internal conflict as he's torn between his roots and his destiny, between his old friends like Nehal and his new comrades like Roshan and the Brotherhood. As Basim fights to free Baghdad from the Order's oppression, he begins to ask questions about himself, his past and the meaning of freedom. The story of Mirage follows Basim's evolution from apprentice to mentor, a journey that is reflected in the game systems. There is no XP-based progression in Mirage, instead, progression is linear and story-driven. As you follow the story and complete missions, your rank increases within the Brotherhood, giving you new opportunities for missions, outfits and tools. We have new tools that can be upgraded and customized for Basim giving him a deadly and effective assassin's toolset. When fully upgraded, these tools can allow for some interesting and unexpected gameplay strategies. We crafted a range of different outfits for Basim, so you can make the character feel personal to you. We're also bringing back a fan favorite feature, Outfit Die, which you can use to change the colors of certain outfits just like you could in AC2 or Brotherhood. Combat has been revamped as well, with new moves and mechanics built specifically for Basim. Much like Altair, Basim's primary combat tools are his sword and dagger. For the animation team, our goal was to create an agile master assassin, who is as elegant as is deadly. An assassin focus allows you to slow down time and perform a deadly kill streak. But be careful, you want to pay attention to where you will end your last move to avoid unexpected fights. Basim feels different from Aver. The focus on one main weapon, his sword, allowed us to put all of our intention into developing an agile character who is intuitive to control. Of course, that also means that the combat will come with bigger challenges. 
higher stakes and a greater reliance on tools to escape tricky situations. From his story to his appearance to character progression, we designed Basim as a fresh twist on the classic assassin archetype. We hope you are as excited as we are to take the first steps on Basim's journey.